Today we're going to make a connection between charges and force. Along the way, we're going to discover like charges repel and opposite charges attract. Let's consider three charges. This one is blue charge, uh, 5 microcoulomb. And I'm going to place it on a line. And this one is a green charge, 7 microcoulomb. And I'm going to place it on the same line. 1 meter away from the 5 microcoulomb. Now, this is a red charge, Q3. Where do I have to place it so that it experiences net force zero? Let's consider the line. I'm going to give you two charges on this line. Okay, so charge one, positive. Charge one also positive, positive. Okay, so this we're gonna call Q1, and Q1 is five microcoulomb, and we also can call this one F1. This is also Q1, so then this must be also five microcoulomb, and this must be also F1. This one is 7 microcoulomb, and this is Q2, and this F2. And same thing over here. Okay, now we're going to be another charge, and we're going to call Q2, uh, we're going to call Q3. Uh, okay, so Q3. So this is Q3, and Q3 is 1 microcoulomb. Okay, so Q3, we're gonna put at three location. Location A, location A, location B, and location C. At which location? Q3 will experience equilibrium. Q3. Q3, of course, is a positive charge. And same thing over here. Q3. Q3. And Q3. The only difference is this Q3 is negative, this Q3 is negative, this Q3 is negative. All right, so usually I ask my student to make a hypothesis. What do you think? At location A, is it going to experience equilibrium? Or at location B? Or at location C? All right, so let's do the investigation. At location A, Positive charge and positive charge repel. So this is F1. Positive charge and positive charge also repel. So this is F2. Positive charge, positive charge repel. So this is F1. Positive charge, positive charge repel. So this is F2. Positive charge and positive charge repel. So this is F1. Positive charge and positive charge repel. So this is F2. Now let's use the Coulomb's law to see where you have the equilibrium. This one is not equilibrium is because 
net force is now zero. This one is not equilibrium because also net force is not zero. This one is equilibrium because net force is zero. So that, that's why this is equilibrium. That means F1 is equal to F2 at right here. Okay, now let's see whether this one is still be experiencing the equilibrium at location B. Usually I ask my student to again make a hypothesis whether the location A it experience equilibrium or that at location B it experience equilibrium or that at location C it exp experience equilibrium. Okay, good. So now let's uh, do the analysis. Uh, so that the Q3 and Q1 positive and negative positive and negative attract so this is F1 negative and positive and this is also attract so this is F2 positive and negative attract so this is F1 negative and positive also attract this is F2 negative and positive attract well negative and positive attract so this is F1 and negative and positive also attract this is F2 now as you see that this is not equilibrium no because f net is not zero this is not equilibrium because again f net is not zero this is equilibrium because f1 is equal to f2 now we want to find the distance. What distance? We want to find that this red, the red is the distance between Q1 and Q3, and the green is the distance between Q3 to Q2. So let's say the distance between Q1 to Q3, uh, Q2 is one meter. All right. So red plus green is equal to one meter. I wanted to find the red. Once you find the red, you would be able to find the green. So how can you do that? Let's red be x and green be 1 minus x. And red plus green is 1 meter. So let's start our conversation with setting f1 is equal to f2. So f1 is equal to f2. You're going to use Coulomb's law to solve this problem. So F1 is K, Q1, Q3 over X square is equal to K, Q3 and Q2.
over 1 minus x square. K, K cancel. Q3, Q3, uh, Q3, Q3 cancel. Q1 is 5 microcoulomb. And x squared. Q2 is 7 microcoulomb. 1 minus x squared is 1 minus 2x plus x squared. We're going to do the cross multiplication. So 7x squared. is equal to 5 minus 10x plus x plus 5x squared. All right, now we're going to set this one to 0. That means 2x squared, 7x squared minus 5x squared, 2x squared. I bring that negative 10x to the other side, so it becomes positive. And 5 to the other side become minus 5. So now I'm going to use the quadratic formula. So what quadratic formula tells us? A is 2, B is 10, and C is negative 5. Okay, so what are we going to do now? Minus B squared plus minus now quadratic formula is b plus minus b squared minus 4 ac over 2a that b is 10 10 square 100 minus 4 A is 2 and C is negative 5. And this is 4. So 10 plus minus 140 over 4. So 10 plus 11.8 over 4 and that gives us plus minus and that gives us 10 minus 11.8 divided by 4 and that gives us 0 0.45 meter. So the rate is 0 0.45 meter.